Hey yo everybody, today is just another commentary style video on my thoughts on something that sounds pretty important, but is really just not being talked about enough. And this is the everyone is a spy bill going basically through the US government right now. The House already passed it, it's going to go to the Senate, and realistically how this isn't like front page news and all that is just beyond me. And I wanted to talk about it. So the first thing that, you know, anybody in the United States needs to do after I explain this whole thing is, you know, call up this phone number and, you know, reach out to your uh, congressman and, or senator and just be like, hey, you're not going to vote in favor of this, right? Because this is awful. So let's get into what this actually is. So. I want to have a chat for a second about the NSA and the RISAA reauthorization bill that just passed through the House on Friday and is about to go to the Senate. I don't normally like to get political on this channel, except for maybe jokes once in a while, but this is basically like the Fourth Amendment doesn't even exist. Uh, I'm going to do my best to sum this up, but... You know what? You know, it's the best I can do. Uh, I did write a script for this, as you can probably tell. So I kind of, you know, actually have something to read for you guys for once. In Section 702, they are attempting to expand the use of domestic surveillance. Remember that shit that Snowden exposed, like, right after 9-11? Uh, this would make all of that look like a complete joke. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Um, except... This time, we do kind of know about it. Uh, under the current laws, the U.S. government can use any electronic communication service provider that has access to communications to assist the NSA in conducting surveillance. Generally, that means companies like AT&T, Google, Comcast, Verizon, communications companies must turn over their communications of targets of the Section 702 surveillance. The targets must be foreigners overseas at first, but can then turn around and monitor basically Americans. If the American person is in contact with that person overseas, that foreigner overseas, but it has to start from the foreigner overseas at the moment for them to be able to actually step in and start monitoring. So what does basically all of that mean? Now, what do they want to change? Uh, they want to change the definition of electronic communication surveillance provider. An amendment offered by the HPSCI leaders and passed by the House vastly expands the universe of entities that can be forced to assist the NSA on surveillance. This is where it kind of gets scary. If the bill becomes law, any company or individual that provides any service at all could be forced to assist the NSA if they have access to the equipment used in the communication transmissions. These items can be as simple as your home internet router, uh, the servers, cell phone towers, your own computer if you're running like, let's say you're locally running a Minecraft server and you're suddenly in contact with some foreigner about some crazy shit. They can come and, you know, they can knock on your door, the little black suits, <laughs> and try to take your equipment, your computer just because of this. They can now force basically the mom and pop hardware store or a local fitness center to assist in NSA surveillance. They could, you know, like I said, come knocking on your door and force you because you had some connection to it. So supposedly they think so. Uh, will that likely happen? Honestly, maybe not. But we have seen dumber things go on, especially on Minecraft servers and Discord servers. <laughs> but you never really know. As this is this just basically sounds like it plays into the government black suits who like to visit people. Have y'all ever looked into those conspiracy theories with like the black suits, the people that don't exist? They come knocking on your door. They supposedly work for so high up in the government that nobody even knows they exist. They don't have fingerprints. Their eyeballs are black. Yeah, and it's they wear sunglasses. They are literally the men in black. Look up the conspiracy theory. It's crazy. Uh, this amendment even extends to providers who come into your home. 
let's say, you know, a house cleaner or a plumber or an IT service, they can basically serve as a surrogate spy at this point. So imagine you have Best Buy technical support come into your house and hang up a TV, but they happen to see something and they decide to report it. Now suddenly they have to assist or maybe even, um, you know, our phones and stuff listen to us constantly for advertisements and all of that. But now the NSA could basically, oh, something triggered something on a phone in some little country bungalow out in the middle of nowhere. They can suddenly try to hit up, you know, that Best Buy employee and try to get them to help is basically what this is. It's ridiculous. They become a surrogate spy. The biggest issue here, too, is a lot of these people that they might hit up to be a surrogate spy might not even have enough knowledge on knowing what to hand over as far as the specific data, which means instead they just take everything. They will confiscate all the tech equipment. So this really is just the next logical step for the U.S. government to try to copy the Chinese government and do like social credit scores is the way it seems. This is a way for them to spy on everyone. They don't have to basically hide that they are spying on Americans uh, and it will now be lawful instead of how they are unlawfully doing it right now. This is incredibly idiotic. Um, I don't know why this isn't on the front page of things. I really feel like part of the reason this probably isn't front news media is a lot of the news media now feels, you know, put on your tinfoil hat, but it feels very much like it's controlled like 40s Germany or current North Korean media. It's North Korean media only puts out what it wants people outside the country to know, but usually we can see through that just because. Uh, and, you know, North Korean people only see what Kim Jong-un wants to be on their TVs. So it's starting to feel a lot like that in the United States. And this is just the next step for them to try to monitor the American people and bypass your privacy um, that you rightfully have. This really isn't a democracy anymore. Um you know, you can really, you can try to argue, oh, if this person was president, this wouldn't be a thing. I don't know, because it does still have to go across the president's desk to actually sign it into law after it goes through the Senate, if I remember how things work correctly. <laughs> it's been a long time since I've watched that little cartoon about bills and laws. Um, <laughs> but, I don't know, this, it, it's a scary time to live in America. It's a scary time in the world. And I, while I can understand why they would want to do this, because there's probably a bunch of, you know, small time gang shit or even worse, you know, words you can't say on YouTube or your video gets flagged. Uh, there's a bunch of worse shit going on uh, with people, you know, that live in America that aren't even reaching out. Like I said, this has to start as a foreign thing. And then they can listen to an American side of it. They're trying to basically put in place that they can listen to all Americans to try to find any American to American communication. Which, understandably, yeah, you would want to stop that. But right now, it's just, I don't know. It, it's incredibly just, I don't know. I don't even know how to put it into words. I don't like it. I don't think they should do it. And people that try to argue, oh, uh, I have nothing to hide. I love the argument of, well, okay, just give me all your passwords and let me start posting on your social media. Let me read all the stuff that is otherwise private if I don't have you added as a friend. Just tell me everything is kind of what this feels like. I have nothing to hide either. You know, if I want to torrent a game, yeah, I'll turn on my VPN. But I'm still going to make jokes about it, you know, on social media of, God, I love watching the Fallout TV series through a pirated Amazon Prime app. Like, <laughs> I'm not hiding it, but at the same time, I value my privacy. 
So I'll talk to you guys later. This is just something I wanted to get off my head. If you disagree with this whole everyone is a spy thing, reach out to your senator and tell them, hey, this is a really dumb idea. The more people they hear from, the better. And I'll talk to you guys later.